Hey everyone, it's Ivan, KidBadger.com, here to bring you my loadout from the Tactical Games from Meridian, Mississippi, 2019, as well as what I'm taking to Texas in 2019. I'll give you a quick rundown of basically everything and let you know if anything has changed, i.e. between Meridian, Mississippi, everything that I used, or the games in Texas, which is in four days as of filming this. A lot of this stuff I actually used in Fayetteville games back in 2018. But here's a quick rundown. First off, Snake Eater Tactical, basically belt and magazine setup. Been really pleased with it. Haven't had any reason to change it. And part of the way it works, basically a really thin inner belt and then Velcro, kind of this uh, padded belt portion and then the outer belt. And with all of that, it stays in place. Doesn't move at all. Really grateful for that. Magazine pouches, really good. You can put pretty much whatever it will fit in them. They will stay in there. And when you need to pull them out, just pull them straight out. As far as holsters, these last games down in Meridian, I ended up running a Safari Land holster with a leg strap I had borrowed for the Glock pistol. I had borrowed last minute and that worked for me, I guess. But moving into this, I have this holster and a different pistol, which I will show you in a second. But as far as belt setup, that's pretty much there. One thing that is changing is while well, I have some sweet magazines, P mags, laser etched by my buddy David, one thing that will be changing is rather than run these P mags, my buddies over at Tango Down hooked me up with a number of arc mags. So I'm gonna end up running these in the games down in Texas. Past that belt setup, well, we'll talk ammo for a second. At the Tactical Games in Mississippi, ran Minutemen Munitions. Same stuff I ran in Fayetteville in 2018. Stuff's done an amazing job for me. They're 68 grain 223, stuff's rad. And yeah, it did a great job for me down there. Came in second in the Elite in both those. Ammo was not an issue whatsoever at all. Moving forward in Texas, I actually have some of this stuff. Idaho Ordnance Factory. Why am I switching? Well, in part, the games for me creates a opportunity for me to basically try out different gear and yeah, kind of a test bed of sorts. And these guys are local. I want to maybe do some work with them in the future. And I was like, let's give it a try. And they even made custom Kit Badger logos for me or tags rather for Mammo, which is kind of cool. So Minutemen Munitions, love them. Going to continue to work with them, but also trying this for the games down in Texas. One thing I did bring to Fayetteville as well as Mississippi, and I will take to Texas, ended up using it, not the way I had planned, but it's basically these Blue Force gear, 10 speed mag pouches, made to go on a belt, and ended up coming in handy. Down in uh, Fayetteville, ended up throwing a full mag in it, in my plate carrier to get it to 15 pounds. And then the other thing ended up doing was over in uh, Mississippi, they're like, oh, hey, like five mags of pistol, five mags of rifle. And I'm like, all right, I, I don't think I even brought five mags, but I'll go borrow or whatever. And ended up throwing these on my belt. So I at least had four on there and then ran other one, extra one in my pocket. Same with all my pistol max. But did bring these things, did end up coming in handy, and I will most certainly bring them again. Kind of looking into weapons down in Meridian. Ended up running this guy for the first time. Basically a prototype Sugar Weasel pistol by Q. And it absolutely worked for me. Like, did a good job. It performed as long as I was doing my part. No complaints whatsoever. On it, I have a Lunar Concepts split fix. And at the games in Meridian, I was actually running the Edgar Sherman Design Sling. This guy right here, which really love, works great for me. To the end of content creation and using the games as a test bed to try stuff out. I'm gonna be running this guy, which is the Lunar Concepts Contour Sling. 
give it a try, see how it does. As far as on this thing, of course, has SBA3 brace, Scalarworks Leap, or I'm sorry, Peak Iron Sights, and at the games in Meridian, wasn't very stoked with this guy. Back in Fayetteville 2018, none of the rifle shots were that far, and this did fine for me. Little Trijicon RMR in a Leap mount by Scalarworks. Nice and light, super low profile, love all that stuff. Right up to the point, trying to shoot at like 240, 250 yards or something. And that, I think like 3.5 MOA dot, ends up getting pretty big. So rather than doing that, and since Tactical Games can't have any magnification, opted for this guy, which is the Primary Arms Cyclops with the ACSS reticle. Why? Well, it's a prism and it is really, really clean. Nice, clean etched reticle. There is illumination. It doesn't get very bright, but if I need illumination because of scheduling and the events go long into the evening, it is there. It is most certainly heavier, but no, I think it's actually gonna do a really good job for me. I threw it on a Scalarworks Leap Mount. It basically uses the same footprint as a, uh, any of your Aimpoint Micros. So got one of those mounts from Scalarworks, threw it on there, got this guy zeroed. No issues whatsoever using, since this time I have more time to go uh, actually zero this, but got this thing zeroed out of like 50, 200 yards and yeah, Pretty excited for the next games running this guy, especially if there's gonna be shots at distance. As I mentioned, in the games in Mississippi, I ended up borrowing a pistol last minute, Glock 19, never shot it, whatever. Grateful to be able to borrow it. Uh, yeah, basically I was going to shoot something else and it never made it to me in time, which is kind of a bummer, because I'd bought a holster and everything. But for this games, pretty pumped. I have, this little guy, which is the Staccato P by STI. Yeah, like going from shooting Glocks or striker fired pistols to 2011, like that's a big step, big upgrade. Will it magically make me a good shooter? No, but if I can apply my fundamentals, I can get more out of my skill level with this pistol than I could like just a sloppy, albeit reliable, Glock. So, pretty pumped about that. Also, kind of something mundane. At the games, I ended up running these guys. Surefire, Defender, I forget which one. Basically the ones with kind of like memory foam, in-ear hearing protection. Why? Because these things are rad, right? Like Amplified Ear Pro? Who doesn't want to wear these? Well. Tell you what these aren't good for. Not good for rope climbs, not good for climbing through tunnels. I don't think they're particularly good for manipulating a rifle and a sling around your body. So no, in-ear hearing protection. It's just easier, man. As far as plate carriers, gonna be running the same one I have been running, which is this guy. It is the SKD Tactical Brig thing is nice and low pro. Like I'm gonna end up doing a review on it. I just haven't, life's happened. But no, it actually serves me well. It has their specific cut for them, level four standalone plates, all of it together. I don't know. When I was in Fayetteville, first games, I weighed like 14 and a half pounds. That's why I had extra magazine on there just to bring it up to 15. Threw it on the scale when we were at uh, Meridian and it was a little over 15 pounds slick. So I don't know, it might've gained a pound since 2018. Anyway, gonna end up running that. As far as kind of other stuff, SKD Tactical Pig Delta Utility Gloves. These things are rad. I can still shoot with them. I can still shoot pistol. Probably as good as I can shoot without it. Like these aren't going to make a difference for me shooting pistol. And I can obviously shoot rifle with them. But the big thing for these is just keeping your hands from getting torn up. Down in Mississippi, 
climbing through all kinds of wreckage. These were most certainly clutch and yeah, did a good job for me. I will be wearing them again. Will I wear them on every stage? Probably not. It really comes down to if I'm going to need them. Not my favorite for a rope climb, so they're usually out there, but we'll see. Since I wear corrective lenses, as far as iPro goes, I have these guys. Been really pleased with them. The Smith Elite Directors. They work good for me with the clear lenses. Unfortunately, I was losing light, didn't have time to change back to those. Ended up wearing these guys. Again, corrective lenses, a pair of Oakleys, old ones I've had forever, and didn't treat me as well as I would have liked in fading light, whatever. One thing I will say wearing corrective lenses, I'm actually really looking forward to the Cyclops with the ACSS reticle because it's etched. And that I think does a lot better job for me rather than sometimes that nice red dot in RMR or anything like that turning into some weird shaped like red blob. As far as clothing that I ended up running, ran these guys which are the Prometheus Design Works. It is their Raider field pants. Things did awesome. I ended up tearing them at one point. I was actually kind of surprised I didn't tear them more considering where I was going through. But yeah, this material has stretch. It gives, they move great, plenty of pockets for when they're like, oh, hey, this combat simulated battle is gonna have five pistol mags. Like what? Why would I carry five pistol mags? but giving plenty of pockets to actually carry those. Didn't lose any on rope climb or anything like that. So yeah, I was pleased with them. But going to Texas, I'm gonna end up wearing something different. For Texas, reached out to those guys and was like, hey, can I try your Odyssey pants? And they're like, yeah, sure. So essentially same deal, lighter material. And these are their Odyssey cargo pants. So I'll see how these do for me down in Texas. Again, Prometheus Design Works. As far as t-shirts, gotta wear a red one, right? So, my red t-shirt, Professional Human. On the back, Casual Athlete, Tactician, Medic, Woodsman, Adventurer, Philosopher, Rad Parent. Because to be a professional human, like it's not about specialization. But I love this t-shirt. And, I think lastly, I wore these limbs. These guys, I actually wore another pair of limbs, my boulder boots, to the first one in Fayetteville. Reached out to limbs, I was like, hey, can I get a pair of your new ones that you just released? And they're like, yeah, sure. So I ran these down in Mississippi. Did they work good for me? Absolutely. Like low pro, everything I needed, nothing else. Uh, they, I didn't lose my footing running through mud and they also didn't get sucked off my feet running through mud. So like bonus, right? Pretty much. This is pretty much everything I'm going to be running down or everything I did run over in Meridian, Mississippi, Tactical Games 2019. And as I mentioned, what I will be taking to the Texas games down in, uh, yeah, four days away as of filming this. So everything up to this point did a really good job for me. Like I said, the only thing I'm actually changing because it didn't do a very good job for me in this last one is the optic. Getting rid of the RMR, keeping the scale works mount because I want it as light as possible, but going with that actual prism optic by primary arms. With that, uh, yeah. The other things that I'm changing, like the sling or magazines, ammunition, it's not because stuff didn't work for me, more it's an opportunity for me to create content with other stuff and use the games as a test bed so that I can speak to it when I end up doing reviews. But this is what I got. And as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.